The holiday season is here, and what's synonymous with the holiday season? Eggnog. So right off the bat, smash that like button if you're a fan of eggnog. To be honest, I couldn't smash the like button because I've never actually had eggnog, but one of my friends, he's ecstatic about eggnog every time the holiday season rolls around, and he's always telling me, yo, I got that eggnog. You gotta try some eggnog. So what better way to try eggnog for the first time than making it from scratch right up at home. So with that being said, this should be a very simple recipe and you guys can follow along with me and you guys can let me know if you become a fan of eggnog if you happen to hit that dislike button already. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a medium pot over medium low heat, grab your gold measuring cups. Inside the pot, you're gonna add three cups of whole milk, allow it to simmer if you let it boil. You're gonna have a bad time. Next, you're gonna grab your stand mixer or your hand mixer, or I guess you can use your hands if you're a peasant. Throw on your whisk attachment. To the mixer, you're gonna add six egg yolks and make sure you drop one egg on the floor because you're a klutz. An easy way to do this is to put them all in one bowl, although try not to break one because then you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna wanna fish out just the yolk as much as you can. You're gonna put the egg whites in a safe space because we're gonna need them later. You're gonna turn on your mixer and start beating the egg yolks while gradually adding one cup of granulated sugar. You want it to look nice and whipped creamy just like this. Next, what we need to do is combine the egg and sugar mixture to the warm milk, but if we do that directly, it'll curdle the eggs and you're gonna have a bad time. So in order to do this properly, you're gonna need to gradually add some of the warm milk into your sugar and egg mixture as it's mixing. So this way it'll bring the eggs up to temperature without scrambling them. And now that our eggs are up to temperature, we're gonna pour our egg mixture into the milk and allow it to thicken up. You need to constantly stir this and keep an eye on it, otherwise your eggs will curdle. Do not use a whisk. Once you have it all combined, you're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract or a vanilla bean. Oh, that's dummy thick. Next, you're gonna get a decently large bowl along with a mesh strainer so we can strain our mixture through it, catching any impurities, including possible egg whites and any eggs that, that you know you curdled. Would you look at that? It looks like we did a perfect job. Next, you're gonna get an even bigger bowl loaded up with some water and ice. Immediately put your hot bowl into your cold bowl and continually stir it until it cools down. Or, you know, just pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Next, we're gonna take those egg whites we have from earlier, pour them back into our mixer, and vigorously mix it with some granulated sugar. The hard part's over, and now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. This time, grab your gold measuring spoons. We're gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, a tablespoon of ginger powder, one freshly grated nutmeg, ah, and try not to cut yourself along with one and a half cups of heavy cream, and a quarter cup or more of your favorite rum, brandy, or cognac. Oh wait, I don't even drink. What am I doing? Get it all fully combined. Whiskey, whiskey well good. Grab your favorite mason jar, pour in your mixture, chill it, and get ready to serve. So now you're gonna get your eggnog nice and chilled. You're gonna pour a nice cold serving into your glass of choice. Oh, doesn't that look frothy? Get a nice scoop of your egg white mixture. Get it nicely put on top. Get some freshly ground nutmeg on top. Pop it off with some freshly ground cinnamon and plop the rest of the cinnamon stick in for good measure. Ooh wee, we got the noggin. Mmm, it smells like Christmas up in here. Up in here. But now, the moment of truth. The first time ever of me trying the nog. And I made it. So let's see if my buddy is on one. Bruh. It's actually pretty fire. So not only is this sweet, but it's got some spice to it, which sounds kind of weird. We got some spicy sweetness going on here in a drink and it's cold, but somehow it actually works. Mm. This is actually fire. And that's crazy. I mean, every time I heard eggnog, I'm like, egg? Nog? There's eggs? Like what? But man, oh man. I mean, even the whipped egg topping right here. Man, I just figured out that's how you make marshmallows, because that's what it tastes like. Mmm. Bruh, like seriously, you go through this layer of marshmallowy whippy goodness. Once you get through, you get that liquid coming through. And somehow it all just works. Mm. I'm actually pretty impressed. What? I made it, so maybe I'm a little bit biased. Just Allie, where you at? 
Come try this thing out. There you are. Have you ever tried eggnog? I tried it because you had tried it all time for Mayday, so I'm waiting for it. I can't wait. I mean, hopefully she's not like, yo, this is gross because I made it and I think it was amazing. So, here you go. All time sounds like weird because never listen and it sounds like, I don't know. Like I this know, guy. right? <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll find out. Okay. If you say it's okay, maybe it's okay. Maybe. <laughs> I'm scared because you put the it's not weird, so I don't know. Okay. Wow! I can't believe it. It's delicious. Wow. It's for me, man. <laughs> oh my god. The name sounds very weird, but it's amazing. Wow! So there you <laughs> have it, y'all. Two of us is fire. Yeah! And I made it, and it was so easy to make. So I would definitely recommend you guys try this out for yourself at home. It's quick, it's easy, it's fun, it's delicioso. Yeah! I can taste with my cookies. Maybe with my cookies, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Fire, yeah. <laughs> I had really other different styles because always is like, um, ah, I forgot the name, Atole. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, all well, different stuff. And this is my first time. And you can make it for Christmas. Yeah, so it turns <laughs> out my buddy was right. It's fire. So I'm kind of disappointed I haven't had it before. I mean, it's been years since I could have been drinking it, and I never did. So let me know if you're a fan of the Nog, or if you've never tried the Nog before. Maybe this is your first time. But you know, the, the problem with this whole thing is, since I've never tried Nog, <laughs> she's never tried Nog. Maybe this isn't what Nog tastes like. Maybe this is something completely different, and this is just fire, but eggnog is gross. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, oh. but this is amazing. <laughs> it is. So make sure you guys go try it out for yourself if you haven't tried it, because you might be like, yo, what was I waiting for? Man. Yeah, this one <laughs> definitely schmacks. <laughs> okay, this is for me everything.